Hello everyone, this is Pamper Chew, and I enjoyed my new vacuum cleaner. Yes, I did. Look at those cuts. I mowed through the lawn and I sucked up, oh, I got spit on my hand. I sucked up the carpet. <laughs> and since I'm a carpet freak, <clears throat> here, let me put Chuck E. Cheese down here. Uh, so you can see on my sick, my, well, my new vacuum cleaner and my sick vacuum cleaner. This one, I, I accidentally uh, cross-threaded this part here. And it, there's a circuit breaker inside. Uh, I did swap the cords though. So the cord that was on that one, I put on this one. But this one looks like it was driven by a little old lady. Less than 10 hours. Look at, and this is this is 20 years old. But well, check out this. It just, it has um, sewing threads on it. Uh, some of those, well, the black ones are mine. That's probably for my, my sewing. But uh, before I uh, powered it up, I checked it and it just has sewing threads. So it looks like it was just driven by a little old lady. This thing is in beautiful condition. And uh, I got it for like 150 bucks. Look at the chrome on that. You can even see my, you, well, is, where's my face? Well, you can kind of see reflections of me. But uh, this thing sucked up the rug like no tomorrow. This thing sucked. And this has a different bag style than the than the last three I've had, which was this is the same model. This one, okay, well, that's supposed to happen. Yeah, there's a button to press to take that out, but this is also a G5, and so is this one. But this has a different uh, bag style. This is from 2004, and it's a just a really nice sucker. And uh, yeah, so the zippers in the back where that one's on the side. Let me open up the zipper and see how much filth I've collected. Oh, just in one vacuum cleaning. Yeah, because I didn't have a vacuum for like a month. Here, get the... Get, I was sucking up the bag there. Get the zipper back up. Well, yeah. Well, this is... Oh, so I say... I think I already said, but... I paid 150 bucks. Here, let me turn it... I'll power it up for you. Let me get this out of the way. And since the room's already clean... I don't know how many vacuum cleaner fans are out there, but you know, get that. Get that. Oh, looks like bend a little. Oh, it's tarnished. That's patina. Oh, oh, whoa. So it's in neutral, and you put it in drive, and then it goes. It flies like crazy. Look at it. Look at that. Yeah, you can push shit out of the way. You can hit your atomic clock. It drives itself. Oh, my. There you go. So, let's suck up Chuck E. Cheese. Ah! Ah! And suck up my filth. So, yeah, it drives itself. You can see. Oh. I got the camera out. Okay. So this thing drives like a maniac. I got, um, hold on. I'll shut it off so you can hear me. <laughs> um, so that's the old parts. I swapped some parts out. Anyway, so the reverse worked great. It looks like it was driven like a, uh, driven by a little old lady at less than 10 hours of service. I think it's 20 years old, so, whew. It's an exercise. The little green light means the bush bar, the, the brush bar was turning. And uh, when I got it, I did check the uh, belt first. And the belt wasn't burned out, but uh, it was disconnected. So I, I, at first I thought there was no belt in there. So I pulled the belt from this thingy. And uh, then I took the beater bar off. Here, I'll show you how that works. This is a Kirby commercial. Here, you should, you should buy one of these, they're really good. So that comes off like that, and then this all comes apart, but you can see. And so then these two levers open up this uh, bottom part, and then that's the belt there. And to attach the belt, you have to put it in the reverse direction and then turn it back. But look at how clean this is. It's, it's so shiny and wow. Well, yeah, there's a little bit of friction on there. Ooh. Wow, it's getting, getting service now. And then this comes off like that. 
<clears throat> Here, hold on. This is what broke my last one. So that little switch in there is what broke. But there's my serial number. Ooh. Ooh, I'm having fun with my vacuum cleaner. Cleaning up my carpet. Oh, I love carpet. Carpet's my favorite thing. Carpet the walls. Carpet the ceiling. Yes, carpet everything. So this goes on like that. And then first you turn. Oh. And then you go like that. And then the belt is on. So here. I think it's still powered up so I can show you here. Pay attention to that light here. Anyway, these are great vacuum cleaners. They suck. They suck so well. They'll take the pee off the carpet. They'll take the filth from underneath the rug. And and I don't have a new I have new carpet, so there's not much pee or filth to talk about, but I should have I should have shown a before and after. Yeah, if I chop you up with a with a wood chipper, I might be able to suck you up with the with the Kirby. But yeah, here's the old one. It looks uh, lack remorse. Oh, oh, I gotta check the piggy bank though. There's always a piggy bank in here, so you gotta turn the screw. I think there's money in here. Better, better pull the money before I scrap it. But yeah, you can tell this old one was not working correctly, and uh, so the switch, uh, yep, you can tell there's problems with it. But the switch that broke is right in here, and this one looks like shiny brand new, so I'm really happy with my purchase. Okay, so. So, oh, hold on, let me get the buckle off the top here. I can use my foot. There we go. Alright. Uh, yep, yeah, I found, uh, <clears throat> I found my, my sucked up change. No, it doesn't go into the arm automatically. <laughs> on the back of these models, you put the change in like this, so you can see, you see the slot there? There we go, I got most of them. Yeah, I dropped a nickel. There we go. And then, uh, so when I first bought one of these, the uh, salesman says, you can save for change, change and go out to dinner. My mom made a joke going, yeah, what, at Taco Bell? But yeah. So I got this for 150 bucks, shipped. Uh, my first one I paid a thousand bucks. But yeah, we wasted their time for eight hours. All right, let's see what Sean's doing. What is he playing? What? I, what what I are you playing? You. What are you playing? I can't hear you. What I, are you playing? It's called Robocraft. I'm busy. Robocraft, oh, okay. I'm busy. Alright, alright. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Hope my manager is doing better. So I gotta take that out. And, well, of course, we have Chuck E. Cheese on the wall. And, uh, Chuck E. Cheese on the floor. Are you sleeping? Oh no, your eyes are open, okay. And what do you have here? Oh, vintage 2000. Year 2000. Pampers, when they went to cloth, but they still had plastic landers in our country. Yeah, looks good, looks good, boy. Looks good. Over here we have extras. There's our baby powder and Diapers. So, do you have anything else to say? Nah? Really? Nothing else? Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching!